Hey, Isaac here. Happy summer, everyone. It's Tuesday, August 24th. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. This is the podcast where we live the dream of people of every nation, tribe and tongue, worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Please help us out by subscribing, reviewing and sharing the show. On Friday, September 3rd, Kevin will be sharing a powerful message from God's Word entitled God Speaks and You're Not Deaf. I hope you'll join us for this international live broadcast from the USA via Zoom, YouTube or Facebook at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, September 3rd. Details at kevinwhite.us kevinwhite.us We'll see you there. Also, Kevin's book, Audacious Generosity, is available in paperback for only $10 right now at kevinwhite.us and that includes free shipping anywhere in the USA. That's cheaper than you can buy it on Amazon. Go to kevinwhite.us and order some copies today for you and your friends. Okay, now here's Kevin with today's show. Good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Kevin. I'm here with our co-host, Thimsala. How are you, my sister? I am doing good. And how are you? It's a delight. Always a delight. Yes, yes. You're listening to Living the Dream and we welcome you. If you're watching on YouTube right now, we're actually waving at you. Uh, Many people listen wherever podcasts can be heard around the world, and we welcome you. I'm from the USA. She's from India. We're both planted right now in America, and we're grateful for the grace of God in that. We do welcome you uh, listening in China and Vietnam and India and Pakistan and Nepal and Everyone up in Northeast India, special shout out to you. That's where Themsala was born. And the Philippines and Canada, Mexico, everywhere in between. Welcome to Living the Dream. So on today's episode, we're going to dive into one verse. And it is a very important, relevant, timely verse for today. Because there are rumors, and the Bible talks about in the end, there will be rumors of all kind. Rumors of wars, rumors of conflict rumors of plagues and everything else. And we're we're actually still in the middle of COVID-19. And you can turn on your news in America, in India, in China, everywhere, and you're going to hear some type of fear-based information about, about something that's coming, something that's going to impact you, something that's going to threaten you, threaten your family, threaten the economy, threaten uh, your community. And we've heard that especially since COVID-19 and uh, yes. began to be a part of normal vocabulary in January 2020. We're recording this in the summer of 2021, and uh, it is still impacting America, it is devastating Uganda and many countries around the world right now. Yes. Uh, but listen to this verse. Jesus is actually speaking. It's in red. If you have your Bibles or you want to open it up uh, on your phone, look at Matthew Chapter 24, verse 14, Jesus says, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Themsala, I've got just one obvious question. What's going to take out, what's going to bring the end of of time, the end of the world, based upon this verse? My take on this is after every person gets to hear the good news Mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ, Mm -hmm. that is when the end will come. Yeah. It's the scripture is very clear about that. If we go to Matthew chapter 24, as well as 25, Jesus very clearly says, no one knows the time. Mm-hmm. Only the fathers know. No one knows the time when he is coming. Yeah. And so if we really look at it, but God, Jesus also very clearly says that it will happen only when everybody has got to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody has been given the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Because um, we can hear, we will get the opportunity, but... Uh, it doesn't say when everybody is safe mm-hmm. either. I'm really glad you pointed that out, that we will not know the time. And the purpose of this episode is not to declare the time. 
or, mm-hmm. or anything like that. What we want to really focus in on is COVID-19 is not going to take out the world. And a tsunami is not going to take out the world. Rainbows have been declared as a promise from God that he will never flood the earth ever again. The entire earth. Obviously, there's flooding around, but he has promised that the entire earth will never be flooded as it was in Noah's day. Noah's And And you will hear of all of these threats with nuclear wars and and all of these type of, of... even germ bombs and different things, plagues and diseases that are running rampant with their with their rumors and the fear-based information that's out there. But Jesus has made it very clear. It's, it's not a if or, it is a declaration that the end will not come until the gospel of the kingdom, the presence of it's God preached. is preached. Yes in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. Well, statistically, you probably know this, Thimsala, 7 billion plus people alive with a heartbeat today on planet Earth. 4 billion, that includes the USA, Canada, Mexico, all of North America, even most of Europe. Mm -hmm. But then when you get into what's considered the 1040 window, There's over 3 billion people that still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. And you've seen it. In mainland India, especially, there are whole villages. Like in America, we would call them neighborhoods of hundreds of families, not just two or three here, two or three. We're talking thousands even, families that are absolutely closed off to the gospel. Will not let a pastor in. Will not let a church with a steeple be built. Do not want Bibles. Totally closed off. The predominant religion is Hinduism. Islam is also uh, a big influence there in India. But the gospel is obviously at work. God is at work and the gospel is being spread there. But it says right here that until every nation has the opportunity to hear, as you just said, it doesn't mean obey, but they have to have the opportunity to know about Jesus. There's a billion people in India that still do not have that opportunity. And then statistically, three billion alive today, the majority of them from from Africa all the way in to Asia and that 1040 window that have limited to no access. Now, I believe it's it's actually spreading faster today than ever in our history because of the internet and radio and TV and different things. I think it's dramatically speeding up, but we still have a ways to go. If this happens tomorrow, it can, once this is fulfilled, the end can come. And if it happens in 2000 years from now, the end can come. Scientists are actually saying the earth can't make it another hundred years, that there's so much decay, the ozone, different things, plant, uh, the temperature changes and everything else. All these violent storms are increasing and everything. Um, they're saying it, it's, it's not going to be that much longer, but I tell you what is going to happen before the earth actually gets to a place of no more life being able to to inhabit the earth, the the gospel is going to be spread all across the world because only then can the end come. Because that's coming from the creator who created this earth. Yes. This is the promise that's coming from the creator. And so for us as a believer, we should not be running around in fear Mm -hmm. that the end is going to come right now because we have a clear, it's like we have have been given the secret code. Mm Mm-hmm. So how it's going to happen. Yeah. And so we should not be, you know, running around going crazy with all the news that's going around that uh, the world is going to end right now because it's very, very clear. We don't know when it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Timeline is not given, like you said. But, you know, he is saying that everybody will get an opportunity. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, you know, people will not be able to say, well, I never got to hear. So I never got an opportunity to reject or to respond. Mm-hmm. But yeah. when those opportunities are given, people will either reject or respond positively to Christ, to the message of good news, to the gospel. Mm-hmm. And 
likewise, when those things happen, when everybody has got that opportunity, then the end will come. That's very clear about that. Yeah. Now, the other thing is with the COVID that you are talking about, the whole world shut down. Mm -hmm. Did we ever think something like this would happen a mm. few years from now? No, nobody had imagined that. But one positive thing that happened was that the gospel was never shut down. Mm -hmm. Right. The whole world was shut down. The gospel was not shut down. Like, thank goodness, like you're saying, internet, the media, it made it possible, you know. The enemy shut down things, but God opened another ways for mm -hmm. the gospel to go, to spread. And yes, there are so many people that still need to hear. We encounter people even in the midst of places where there are churches around. We hear of people who say, no, we have never heard about Jesus. And that's the irony of it. And we as believers, we have to be on fire. Mm -hmm. We have to be on fire. We yeah. want the coming of Jesus. Well, let's get to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get to work. Yes. Yeah. Hi, it's Isaac. Kevin will be right back. Kevin White is an international speaker and best-selling author who loves helping people everywhere to prosper in God's presence. A serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of businesses, nonprofits, and churches. As founder, executive director of Global Hope India, Kevin has traveled over 1 million miles to 27 different countries, speaking to thousands of audiences throughout India and the world. Visit kevinwhite.us for Kevin's books, one-minute motivation series, and podcasts. Visit kevinwhite.us today. For over 20 years, Global Hope India has been empowering the church in India as they make Christ known. Visit globalhopeindia.org and learn how you can pray, give, and go. Over 1,000 people have served on one of GHI's short-term mission trips to India. Now you can join a virtual mission team to India. Visit globalhopeindia.org today because everyone should have access to hear about Jesus. Okay, now back to the show. I'm really glad that you brought out that we have nothing to be afraid of. In my childhood, the word rapture was a very frequently used word. It's not so used as much anymore. And there, were, there used to be a lot of fear based upon that. Um, and in this passage and what we're trying to get across today is not the, the fear-based response uh, to it as far as the believer. If there is anyone in the audience that has not decided to call upon Jesus only for salvation, then let today be your day of salvation and fear is gone. Perfect love cast out fear. You have nothing to be yes. worried about 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 Matthew 24, verse 14 at all, but it does give us a responsibility. And this past Sunday, the pastor preached on Jonah and how Jonah ran from the need for salvation of the people far from God in Nineveh. And it just occurred to me, and I think my, one of my next books is going to be, Which Way Are You Running?, we're either yes. running toward the Great Commission or we're running away from it. And, oh, yes. and yes. most people have never made a conscientious decision, but practically they have because the word makes it very clear, go ye therefore. And that doesn't necessarily mean literally get on a plane. Now, I've taken a thousand people over to India and we're going to continue to do that. And, and if you have the physical capability absolutely get your behind in a plane and go somewhere to preach the gospel. But we all have a responsibility to go and preach and share the gospel. You may say, well, I'm not a preacher. And that's not the point. There have been doctors who have preached without ever using a Bible verse in India. I've, I've served beside them. And the love of Christ and the presence of God was all over them as they checked out a sick person in India. And I've seen so many mm -hmm. people preach without necessarily having a sermon or notes in their hands because their life was telling a visual story of the transformation yes. of Jesus Christ Just in the their life. the aspect of loving, loving your mm -hmm. neighbors. It boils down to loving your neighbors. Yes. Just showing them love speaks volume. 
Yes. The Christ love. And so I just want to close out this episode by asking everyone in the audience, including me and Themsala, are we yeah. burdened for the lost? Are we compassionate toward people far from God? Do we really care anything about the three billion people that do not have access to know about Jesus? Are we praying for them? Are we pleading for God to be patient and to and to give them grace and to open up their eyes that they could see Jesus, that they would know that he's an ever-present help in time of need? Has COVID-19 sensitized us how are we going to survive without the presence of God? Well, what about those that don't know Jesus as an ever-present help in time of need? Are we sensitized to people far from God? And are we actively working to do something about it? It's $3 to sponsor a Bible in India. And that's only one country of many that still need Bibles um, and that still need tools for the gospel. And are we supporting missionaries are, are, we, are we undergirding the, uh, the ministries that are advancing the gospel like Global Hope India and, and other ministries around the world? Are, are, we, are we actively seeking to see the gospel advanced? Right next door, as you said, love your neighbor. Yes. Your neighbor can be right across the road and it can be 8,000 miles away in India. Yes, yeah. Well, Themsala, thank you for discussing you. this with me. Always a delight. Yes. I wish everyone a great day listening to Living the Dream, and we'll see you right back here next week on Living the Dream. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream show with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International, all rights reserved. Each week we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today, as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White. Living the Dream with Kevin White.